In this video we will show you how the click of a single button can save you 30 minutes of manual labor, achieves outstanding results in just a few seconds and reduces material and part costs up to 50%. Stay tuned to learn more about our Syncrotec nesting solution. Hello and welcome to this in-depth video demonstration of our Syntratec nesting solution. We are currently processing a request from our production team for parts to be built into new S2 systems and we thought this would be a great use case to show you the latest functions and the power of our new nesting solution. We will first prepare the print job manually and then automatically with the help of the nester in order to have a proper comparison. So let's get started. With the Syntratec Central 2 software opened, we are ready to begin importing our 3D objects. We are using files in the STL format, which can be exported by all common 3D design tools. To import, simply drag and drop the STLs into the Syntratec Central window. In our case, we have nine different parts. As mentioned, these are all components that we print and use in every new S2 system. Now our production team ordered a total of 78 of these parts, so we need to multiply them first. Under the copy tab we have different options available for that. For example, we need 10 of these stop colors, so we select them, put in 10 and copy them. To place these parts inside our S2 print range we can use a basic auto placement tool. When we copy parts with this box checked, they get stacked automatically inside the print volume. This placement is very fast, but not perfect, as we still have large gaps. To avoid gaps we manually move the parts closer together. For example, by holding Z we can shift the selected part in the Z axis, by holding X in the X axis and so on. So we will now copy and arrange the parts according to the order. This process, as you can imagine, may take a while, so we will speed it up. Alright, we have completed the print job with our 78 parts and in this case this process took around 30 minutes. But it's fair to say we did a pretty good job. So now we can generate our print job by clicking this button. Our slicer now generates the layers and the laser paths for all the parts. Once done we are presented with a summary of our print job and a 2D layer preview. As you can see in our example we now have a print job height of around 360mm, an average density of 10.6% and an estimated printing time of 22 hours. Under the density tab we can also create a chart. This helps us understand whether or not we created a print job with large density jumps, which we would like to avoid for optimal results. As you can see this certainly is no ideal case, with a lot of density variation. To get a better result we would have to stack the parts closer together. This is where our advanced nesting solution comes into play. Under the nesting tab we can find multiple presets to automatically place our objects inside the S2 volume. With all our parts selected we now choose the free orientation with 2mm minimal distance between parts. 4mm is our recommended default but you may go lower for thin parts. Since we have already printed these parts before we know we can go as low as 2. Now we simply click on nest with options above and let the algorithm do its magic. So here we have our first nested example, which took the algorithm only around 43 seconds to calculate. When we analyze this new print job, we can now see how the print height has significantly decreased to 220mm and printing time is also reduced to around 14 hours. Most importantly we now have achieved a density of 17.4%, with a much better overall distribution. So quite the improvement. But we can also further improve this solution by simply unchecking this box here. As we begin the nesting process, the algorithm will now continue to look for better solutions until we tell it to stop. So we will do just that. In this example we let the nester run for another 6.5 minutes and as you can see we achieved an even better density of 18.3% compared to the 17.4% previously. This free nesting mode usually leads to the highest packing density, because the models are free to be rotated in all directions, giving the algorithm the most options to choose from. 
This power comes at the cost of non-uniform part orientation, which means that every part will be oriented differently and therefore produced slightly differently. For many applications this is fine, but in some cases we may want every part to look and behave the exact same. To demonstrate this, we use a different orientation mode, called minimal downskin. This preset analyzes every object and rotates it until the downward facing surfaces are minimized, to allow for sharper printing detail on the upward facing surfaces. As you can see in our example, this results in a higher, slightly less dense print job than with our free preset. But the parts will certainly have a more consistent printing quality, as they all share the same layer line orientation. We will now show you a third nesting mode. Let's say we want to use a different orientation for every type of part. By double clicking on a component, we can simply select all its twins. Then, in the rotation menu, we can now find the same presets as in the nester. We will choose the minimal downskin option for these lens cap parts. Then for the stop colors, we will choose slanted. Slanted rotates the object to maximize surfaces with a 45 degree angle to the layer lines. This usually results in very good printing quality. For more information on pros and cons of each orientation mode, visit our website. Experienced operators sometimes want to choose a custom part orientation. We will demonstrate this on these guides and vacuum nozzles. Again, we double click on the models to select the twins and set our own rotation, for example 30 degrees in the Y axis field and apply it to the parts. Now we can tell the nester to arrange the parts in a way that keeps the layer line orientation fixed. Simply select the Keep Current Upright setting and the algorithm will begin to look for a solution while respecting the currently set rotation. As you can see, our nester has achieved a nice solution in just 35 seconds, despite our components having a custom set orientation. Let's have a quick summary of our use case. First, we had the manually placed print job, which took us around 30 minutes of labor, with an average density of 10.4% and a printing time of 22 hours. In contrast, automatic placement with our nester only took around 43 seconds of calculation time. With the free nesting mode we achieved the highest density, of 17.6% and even 18.3% when we let it run for another 6.5 minutes. This would result in a much shorter printing time of around 14 hours. The minimal downskin preset has a slightly lower density, of 15.9% and will take 1.5 hours longer to print, but will result in much more uniform parts. And finally, we have our print job with custom rotations with a density of 15.1% and a print time of around 16 hours. We hope that this demonstration was able to show you how to use our Syntrotech nesting solution and to illustrate the benefits this powerful software brings to your production. There are of course many more nesting modes and features available to optimize your print job. To find out more about the Syntrotech nesting solution and how to get your own software license, please visit syntrotech.com nesting. And if you have further questions, of course feel free to contact us directly. Thank you for watching.